Hi, this is Christina Vinley, also known as a Prophet Queen, coming to you on day nine of the 30-day video challenge with Think 260 from Tina Spriggs and Chris Whitehead. Today's topic is what motivates you when you are down. Um, now, for me, there's you know maybe two different answers to that, whether it's personal down or whether it's I'm down in business, but I'll, um, I'll answer. So for I mean, the, my big why, um, you know, when I did the PH challenge, the broker challenge with Seth Larrabee and the, um, Pete Hampton, um, my big why was my son. And uh, so not a big surprise that he motivates me um, when I get down. I just, if he's not with me, I just go into his room and I sit down and I, and I look at his picture and I, it just makes me um, realize the responsibility that I have and um, it makes you know, it just makes me feel closer to him if he's not home. Um, of course, if he's around, I'm going to spend you know time with him. And um, the most precious time that I find is you know when he's sleeping at night after he falls asleep. I like to look at him and just remember, um, you know, that he, he that I need to be there for him, and I need to provide for him, and I need to do what I need to do to make that happen. So, um, and it's not always comfortable, um, and, but I do it for him, for us, right? So that's, um, he's my big why, I guess that would be personal or, or professional, but, um, you know, if it comes to professional stuff, you know, my big why is for my clients, you know, the commitment that I made to them, um, to help them or, or whatnot, and, um, so if I have, you know, having a day when, which has been many days actually, um, where I have friends that want to go do stuff during the day. Um, I have to, you know, suck it up and say, I, you know, I can't, I can't do it. I have things that I need to do and get done. And um, that's uh, a big why is, you know, that commitment that I've made. Um, but also, you know, I also for business and pleasure, whatever, um, when I need to dig deep, I have um, a couple of these books by Sarah Young. And this one's actually really great. So this is called um, Jesus Lives. And this one's great because um, you can go, like, this one you can find actually, um, like, this is about emptiness. So it's, you know, two pages about emptiness, shows some scripture about it really fast. You know, one or two paragraphs. You can do it really quickly. And um, this actually kind of gets me in the right frame of mind in the morning um, or whenever maybe I, I need it. Um, I can go to this and, and look at something, and it just gives me, you know, the faith that I need, um, that I'm not all alone in this, um, in this life, and, um, you know, there's other forces and things around, um, that we can't see, at least that's what I believe, so that's, this is my personal thing, um, you'll be hating if you don't believe it, um, because I do believe everyone should believe in whatever, whatever works for you, whether it's a universe or or Buddha, or God, or whatever it may be for you, whatever that um, brings you strength, that, you know, I support anybody um, and everyone in their faith. So, anyway, so those are the, the ways that I um, kind of, you know, um, when I need to dig deep, those motivate me as well as, you know, having my parents around, and um, I need to, you know, um, support and, uh, you know, be here for them, and, and take as much burden off of them as I can. So those are the things that motivate me. Um, thank you so much for listening and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. And if you could be so kind as to tell me what motivates you, I'd really be interested to know and um, kind of like start a conversation. That'd be awesome. So thanks so much. Bye-bye.